Hello, hello, hello. Today is Wednesday, September 6, 2023. Problem 181. It's about dispersion. It's an easy problem. You don't need any calculus. You only need Snell's law and some very simple math. I therefore expect that most of you can do this problem and I'm looking forward to many correct answers. A parallel beam of light containing two wavelengths, lambda 1 of 450 nanometers and lambda 2 of 650 nanometers, enters an equilateral glass prism as shown in the figure. There you see the figure. So this angle of incidence here is 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. The refraction index for lambda 1 is about 1.64 and it is about 1.62 for lambda 2. The question is, what is the angle theta 1 and what is the angle theta 2? So this beam of light comes in at an angle of 45 degrees and it has two wavelengths. And so these wavelengths, since there is a different index of refraction, will be reflect, refracted differently. And so when they emerge from the prism, one will emerge at an angle theta 1 and the other at an angle theta 2. And the question is, how large is theta 1 and how large is theta 2? I'll be happy with two-digit precision. A much higher precision may not be too useful because I mentioned here that the index of refraction is about 1.64 and the other one is about 1.62. But if you want to use these numbers exactly and you get three digit precision, that's fine with me too. What I want you to realize is all you need is Snell's law and some math. So if you had had any physics in high school, there is no excuse whatsoever if you cannot do this problem. And I don't say that lightly. Was I able to do this problem in my high school? Without any doubt. I don't want to make you feel bad, but if you cannot do this problem, you got to brush, brush up on much, 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 much simpler physics. And maybe the problems in my channel are just too difficult for you. That's okay. You can always learn physics. That's the reason why I publish all those problems. And apart from that, as I've mentioned many times before, the most important conservation law in physics is the fact that we will be friends. For now, in the future, till death do us part. <laughs>